Hey everybody, it's John Elzinger and welcome back to It's a Great Day to Serve the Lord. And today I want to talk about the most impractical scripture that exists. It's about prayer. A few other things. It's about prayer. Uh, the scripture is found in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. It's a very popular, very famous scripture. And I'm going to read it in the New Living Translation. And it reads, Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. My friend, let me ask you a couple of questions. How often do you pray? Is it once a day? Maybe before a meal? Or is it, is it even less than that? Basically, when you need something. Is that when you pray? A follow-up question might be, how do you pray? What is your approach or your posture? Do you close your eyes and you bow your head? Do you do so silently? Do you repeat your phrases? Do you rock back and forth? Do you kneel? Uh, do you stand with your arms stretched out and your palms uh, pointed upward? In reality, uh, I believe that both the process and how you pray is flexible. There's not any one way you have to pray. There's no real formula for prayer. But I believe that our scripture today gives us insight into what our prayer process should be or can be. This little passage reveals how important prayer is to our daily lives. <laughs> I grew up as a Christian. I, I was raised in a Christian family, um, and I've told you about this before. And, and uh, my, my parents were not very communicative people. My father certainly wasn't. He was a farmer, kind of a quiet man. But he was faithful. And uh, we would, we would uh, uh, get to the dinner table at night, and he would pray before we eat. And then afterward, uh, we would have some devotions. Read, he'd read some devotional, and we would pray after that. And I used to think to myself, didn't God hear us the first time? <laughs> I mean, it was just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I was uh, really kind of um, confused by that whole thing. Now, this scripture says, uh, never stop praying. Some versions of the scripture say pray without ceasing. So many believers get confused by this, frustrated by it. Like, how, how is that even possible? And this version clears it up a little bit. It says never stop praying. So pray without ceasing, never stop praying. There's a little bit of a nuanced difference to that. But before I go into um, when and, and how to pray, I want to talk about the verses both before and after it says pray constantly. This is something new I've discovered all these years. I have, I have read this verse. I have been frustrated with this verse. I, 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 but I've read it a thousand times, maybe a million times. I don't know. The scripture before says always be joyful. Always be joyful. I, I mean... That's so frustrating to me. I'm a serious guy. I, I'm an intense kind of guy. And, and, and in many occasions, I don't look joyful. <laughs> so it's kind of a rebuke to me. But I, I realize, that, and we need to realize, that joy here isn't necessarily um, happiness. It's not this kind of giddiness or constant elation kind of thing. No, joy here that it's speaking about is more kind of an inner contentment that we have in the circumstances in our daily lives. The verse after, equally frustrating, says, be thankful in all circumstances. I mean, it's another way of saying, always be thankful. And you might be thinking, if you're honest, because I've thought this, this is the most impossible and impractical scripture I've ever read. It's impossible to always be joyful, to, to always be praying, to always be thankful. Now watch this. 
between joy and thankfulness is prayer. And I think that's significant. Now, prayer, as we know, is just simply talking to God. It infers we have a relationship with him. And, and I just love the picture uh, that is given to us in the movie Fiddler on the Roof and the main character, Tevye. You know, throughout his day, he walks to town. He, he feeds his animals. We find him talking to God very casually. Uh, he talks to God about his family seeking wisdom. He talks to God about his finances. He talks to God about the cultural and political situation of the day. He's talking to God about everything on the fly, as he's walking, as he's working throughout the day. Watch this. Here's how these verses work together. Here's how the impossible becomes possible. In the midst of circumstances, whatever they are in our life, we can go to God. In the midst of the stuff of our life, the trials, the tribulations, the pain, the tension, the challenges, the problems, in the midst of the circumstances, whatever they are, we can go to God. And for that, I can be thankful. I can simply be thankful that I can go to God because as I talk to God, I find that I, in the process, I'm giving him my burdens, knowing that he is the one that can lead me through whatever these circumstances are. And when I give it all to God in prayer, when I talk with him throughout the day about the, the many ways that, that it, it brings me a sense of joy and contentment, knowing that he is sovereign Lord and in control of everything. He's got this. Here's my encouragement to you, my friend. Pray. Pray when you get up in the morning. Pray before your meals. I mean, Jesus did. Pray as you go throughout the day. It could be a 30-second prayer. Somebody passes you in the hallway. You know they're going through some stuff. And you just stop and you shoot one up to the Lord and say, Lord, uh, you're just in your mind, in your head, in your thoughts. Lord, just be with that person. You know, comfort them. Be with them. Heal them. Uh, you know, be real to them. Let them know uh, th that you are there. Help them sense and feel that you are there. Lord, be with that person. Amen. I can't tell you how many 30-second prayers I've offered in my life. Pray when you're desperate. Pray when you're hurting. Pray when you're seeking God's help. Maybe you're praying on your knees at this point. I know I have. And Paul says in Ephesians, it is for this reason that I pray. He says it a couple of times. It is for this reason that I kneel in prayer subjecting himself to God, showing just, it's an outward way of showing, Lord, you are Lord and I am not. I bow to you. I kneel to you. You are my master. You are my savior. You are my Lord. You are God of all creation. And I know that. I feel that. I sense that. My friend, be in constant communication to the one who loves you more than you will ever know. Well, God bless you and remember, it's a great day to serve the Lord. So friend, if I could take just a second more of your time, um, I would appreciate if you would consider, possibly, if these devotions have meaning to you, have value to you, if they are speaking into your life, if they are encouraging you, uh, I would appreciate you considering, praying about, thinking about, uh, a small uh, donation. You can find a link below where you can donate. And if you do, I thank you very much. God bless you, and it's a great day to serve the Lord.